The Philadelphia Eagles are without a doubt a team that is looking to contend for a Super Bowl next season and obviously when you are a legit contender like the Eagles, more and more players are going to have interest in joining your team and now this is especially true for players that are very late into their careers and are at the point where they're just trying to win a Super Bowl and these players are known as ring chasers and even if these ring chasers are often past their primes, they still are able to offer some value to a team that is trying to win a championship. So in the case of the Eagles, who are some ring chasers that could potentially help the team on their quest to win Super Bowl? 58. Well, this video we're going to take a look at seven of these guys. And we're not going to waste any time, so let's get straight into the video. Now, the first guy I do have to mention is DeAndre Hopkins. Is of course, as I'm editing this video, he was released by the Arizona Cardinals. And there have been a lot of rumors linking DeAndre Hopkins to the Philadelphia Eagles this offseason. Obviously, just a couple days ago, Hopkins said that he would not mind playing with Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts at all. And obviously, if you were to add Hopkins to this Philadelphia Eagles team, that makes their offense even more unstoppable. He would probably come in as that wide receiver three and have unbelievable production as he still has a lot left in the tank a lot of talent and he could definitely play a big role on a team that is trying to win a Super Bowl however I just don't see this being the most likely thing for the Philadelphia Eagles as I said before even though now DeAndre Hopkins is cut I think it would be too expensive for the Eagles to sign him and since the Eagles are already so stacked at the wide receiver position I don't think it would make that much sense for them to go out and spend a hefty price on a guy who is still very very talented but is a little bit older now and who may start to decline over the next couple seasons. Now if Hopkins wants to take a discount to come sign with the Eagles for the chance to chase a ring and win a Super Bowl maybe for one to two seasons, I would be completely fine with that, completely on board with that, and I'd actually be really excited if that happened. I just really don't see it happening, unfortunately. Now the difference between him and the other wide receivers I'm going to mention in this video is that his price tag is going to be a lot higher than these other guys. So when I say that I wouldn't mind bringing in some of these other players, that's because their price tag is going to be extremely low. It's going to be for a one-year deal, probably worth around two at most three million dollars I would expect DeAndre Hopkins I would expect gets a lot more than that and some team out there is going to be willing to pay that price and as much as I think it would be great for Hopkins to join the Philadelphia Eagles I just don't see it happening and now these next six guys I'm going to mention I think are a lot more realistic so that's my thoughts on the DeAndre Hopkins situation but where do you guys think he's going to end up or do you think the Eagles actually have a realistic shot to get him let me know in the comments so as I just said I'm sure there are plenty of players out there that are looking to chase a ring next year and see the Eagles as an ideal landing spot spot for them. And there are multiple of these guys out there that I think could bring some value to this team in some form or another. But however, I do want to make it clear that when talking about these ring chasers, I don't think these are guys that are going to come in and make huge contributions to the team right away. I don't think they're going to start for the team. And I definitely don't think that they should take time and opportunities away from other deserving young players. In fact, one of the things that I like most about the Eagles right now is the amount of young players and young talent they have on this team that have the opportunity to contribute next year and moving down the road into the future. So that's not what I'm saying at all. But just because I believe that doesn't mean I also don't see the value in bringing in some of these older guys that have experience, that have played in Super Bowls, that have been deep into the playoffs. I think that that's extremely valuable for a team that is trying to win. So when going through these guys, just keep all of that in mind. But as I said earlier, there are a few guys out there that I definitely would not mind bringing in probably a little bit later, probably after training camp or even mid-season at some point that I could see helping the Eagles on a Super Bowl run this season. So the first guy I want to talk about is Julio Jones, and this is a guy who is obviously an all-time great at the wide receiver position, mainly with the Atlanta Falcons. There's an argument to be made that he was the best receiver of his generation. I mean, he pretty much has every individual achievement that you can have, and pretty much the only thing that has eluded him in his illustrious career so far is a Super Bowl championship, and I'm sure that Julio Jones wants to win a ring before his career ends. He knows he's on the decline, he knows he's at the very end of his career most likely, and it's been pretty evident that he's suffered a steep drop-off in production over the past three seasons and in addition to that Julio has also struggled to stay healthy during that stretch of time as well so at this point in his career an ideal situation for Julio Jones would be going to a Super Bowl contending team that has an elite quarterback an elite offense a good receiving core so he only needs to be a wide receiver four or five option maybe and use situationally and he would probably come in and sign a one-year contract for pretty cheap so what better team to provide him with all that than the Philadelphia Eagles and this could be helpful for the Eagles as well. I mean, bringing in Julio Jones would add a good veteran presence to that receiver room to mentor the younger guys like A.J. Brown, who obviously they 
spent a year together with the Tennessee Titans. And AJ Brown says that Julio Jones is his favorite receiver of all time. You got a guy like Devontae Smith who attended Alabama, obviously in college, and that's where Julio Jones went as well. And then you got a guy like Quez Watkins, who this is kind of the year where he has to prove himself. And I think that having a guy like Julio Jones to mentor him this year would be really helpful for him. And in terms of his on the field impact, Julio Jones can be used situationally, like for example, on third down or maybe in the red zone, but he doesn't really have to be relied upon too much. And he can kind of play the role that Zach Pascal played for the Eagles last year. I just think overall, this would be a good fit. And Corey Woodruff of USA Today seems to think it's a good match as well, as he wrote an article saying that Julio Jones to the Philadelphia Eagles would be one potential summer free agency move that everyone would love to see. So personally, I like this idea. I mean, I certainly don't see any harm in getting an all-time great wide receiver as a mentor for the current young wide receiver core that this team has that also still has some ability left. And I'm not saying he would come in and be the wide receiver three and replace Quez Watkins. I think this is Quez Watkins' year to prove that he still belongs on this team. But I do think that he would bring value to this team. And that could be in a multitude of ways. And I think it would also be for very cheap. I mean, if you're signing Julio Jones, you're not going to sign him to a big contract. It's most likely going to be a one-year contract for probably like $2 million. So it wouldn't cost the Eagles too much to do that. So I really don't see the harm in it. I actually think it would be a pretty solid move. Now that's just my opinion. And I know that some people completely disagree with that and don't like it. If you're one of those people, let me know why in the comments. Now, a guy that Eagles fans seem to be a lot higher on is Ndamukong Sue, and this is someone who was with the Eagles last year down the stretch of the season and helped the Eagles on their path to Super Bowl 57, and a lot of Eagles fans seem to want him back in 2023, and that's for pretty good reason, as he played well for the Eagles after he signed with the team in November of 2022, and he was especially good at stopping the run. That's really the main reason he was brought to the team, because Jordan Davis suffered an injury versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Eagles' run defense took a hit. They brought in Ndamukong Sue, and he definitely helped shore up that run defense there. There's no doubt about that. And he also brought toughness on the field for that Eagles defense. And he was yet another veteran on that defensive line with plenty of experience. He had obviously won a Super Bowl before with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He has gone to two more with the Rams and now obviously the Philadelphia Eagles. And I think that bringing him back could only be a positive for the team as obviously it wouldn't cost them a lot to do it at all. And he definitely still has some ability left. And I'm sure that the Eagles would love to have him back. And if they were to sign him, it more than likely wouldn't be until after training camp is over. Over, or maybe it happens sometime, you know, after the start of the season, maybe mid-season, kind of around where it happened last year. But honestly, I do think that this is probably the most realistic option when we talk about ring chasers of all the players that I'm going to mention in this video. And I personally think at some point this is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. And if it does happen, I would obviously love it, but I guess we'll see. And now another name I want to mention is Linval Joseph. And obviously you can't really talk about the prospect of bringing back Ndamukong Sue without mentioning Linval Joseph's name as well, as Joseph is the other guy that the Eagles brought in alongside Sue in November of last season in order to help the Eagles shore up their run defense on their run to the Super Bowl. And now I thought Ndamukong Sue was better than Joseph was last year, but I still thought that he did his job. He had some nice plays. He obviously had a sack alongside Sue in their first game playing with the Eagles. And, you know, I don't think the Eagles would bring back both Sue Sue and Joseph, I and mean, they probably prefer to bring back Indomitian and Sue if they had to choose one, but if they don't get Sue for whatever reason, I think they would just turn around and try to bring back Joseph. If they were to do that, he's definitely a guy that brings experience pretty much like all these guys, and he's still got some ability left. He obviously can still stop the run and be effective in that role just like he was last year, and he would add some more depth to the defensive line just like bringing back Sue would do. And pretty much again, like all these other guys, it would be dirt cheap to make this move. He's not going to cost you really anything, and again, if the Eagles couldn't get Sue back for whatever reason, I would be completely cool with bringing back Joseph. I definitely think that would be a solid move. Now, real quick, before we get back into the video, I just want to say, make sure you go down and subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying this video and want to see others like it. Around 80% of the people that actually watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you're one of those people and you have been watching these videos consistently and you're liking what you see, go down and fix that right now. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos coming in the future. I think this is a win-win scenario for me and you. So now with all that being said, let's Let's get back into the video. Now the next player I want to talk about is Jarvis Landry. And this is very similar to the possibility of adding Julio Jones, and I think it makes sense for pretty much all the same reasons that that move would make sense. I mean, Jarvis Landry is a former top-tier receiver who's now coming off the worst year of his career with the New Orleans Saints after he suffered an ankle injury, which really limited him throughout the course of the 2022 NFL season. And Landry is now 30 years old, and he could be looking to chase a ring as he's definitely getting closer to the end of his career, and the Eagles could give him an opportunity to do just that. I mean, he could be the wide receiver four or five for 
for this team, pretty much like I said for Julio Jones. And again, he could be used in specific situations. And now I do think out of all the receivers that I'm gonna mention in this video, he's definitely the one that I think has the most left in the tank. He's definitely on the downside of his career, don't get me wrong, but I think if not for injury, his numbers last year would have at least looked a little bit better. And the most valuable thing about Landry in my mind is the leadership that he could bring and the mentorship that he could give to Quez Watkins as Jarvis Landry has played in the slot pretty much his entire career and at one point was one of the best slot wide receivers in the entire NFL. And I think this could be great for Quez Watkins because Quez Watkins now is in the role of the wide receiver three and he's gonna be playing a lot in the slot this season. So Jarvis Landry could come in, mentor Quez Watkins and help him develop a little bit more in that role, which obviously I think would be good. Not to mention, just like all these other guys, bringing in Landry would probably be extremely cheap. So I definitely would not be upset with this move at all. And I think it's something you should keep your eye on moving forward. And now the next guy I'm gonna talk about is someone who Philadelphia Eagles fans are very familiar with, and that is Deshaun Jackson. And again, very similarly to Julio Jones and Jarvis Landry, he could come in, bring veteran experience and leadership at the wide receiver position. He would probably be used as the wide receiver five is probably out of all the wide receivers I've mentioned in this video. He has the least left to offer and he can be used situationally like those other two guys that I've mentioned as well. But there are a couple main differences with him and Julio Jones and Jarvis Landry that I think make him stand out a little bit in terms of a potential ring chaser option for the Eagles. For one, he's a former Philadelphia Eagles legend. Obviously, he's had a Hall of Fame career and his best years have come with the Philadelphia Eagles. He had two stints with the Eagles. Obviously, that second one didn't really work out so well. But the thing about that stint was he was expected to be used in a very big role so if he were to come back to the team now his role would obviously be very different and a lot smaller and Deshaun Jackson's a guy who still even at his age now has elite speed and that speed could be useful for two things one he could mentor Quez Watkins who he's a player that has elite speed himself and I think it could be really helpful for Quez Watkins development to learn from a guy like that like Deshaun Jackson who is one of the best deep threats the league has ever seen I think they were actually together for a little bit during the 2020 season so obviously it couldn't hurt to learn from him for another full season. And then the other thing that I think Deshaun Jackson could be good for is maybe returning punts. I mean, the Eagles could definitely use an upgrade there over Britton Covey last season. I mean, Deshaun Jackson, I definitely think would be an upgrade, but the question is, would he be willing to do that and risk his body and put himself in that position of returning punts, you know, game in and game out at this stage of his career, at his current age? Probably not, but you never know. And we don't even know if Deshaun Jackson still wants to play in the NFL. I mean, recently he said he'd only come back if it was for a select few teams and we don't know if the Eagles are one of them we do know that he said he wants to retire with the Eagles but that would more than likely be a situation where he just comes back for a day signs a contract and then retires so you know at the end of the day this is probably pretty unlikely but I do see a little bit of value in this possibility I don't think it's impossible so that's why I mentioned it and obviously you know no matter what no matter even if he does nothing it still would be fun to see Deshaun Jackson come back to the Eagles and maybe get a ring so let me know what you would think about a potential Deshaun Jackson third stint in Philadelphia. <laughs> Now the last guy I want to talk about is Robert Quinn. And hold on, hold on, hold on. I already know what you guys are going to say. Well, he was terrible last year after we traded for him, which is completely 100% true. He was terrible. He didn't really do much of anything. He dealt with an injury early after the trade happened and that held him out of some games. And then after that, he didn't really do anything. But if you just take a closer look at the possibility of maybe bringing him back, there would be positives to signing him to an extremely cheap one-year deal. By the way, all these guys, again, would be dirt cheap. I hope I've made that clear throughout the video. But, you know, obviously, number one, veteran presence. That's pretty much true for all of these guys. But number two, and a little bit more importantly, he motivates some of these guys around him. I mean, if you paid attention last year to the way some of these guys talked about Robert Quinn, they spoke very highly of him. You know, Brandon Graham is someone who I can remember off the top of my head. I specifically remember after the Eagles lost the Super Bowl, him saying that he just really wishes they could have gotten it done for some of the older players, including Robert Quinn is a guy he mentioned by name. So essentially, he's serving as motivation for other guys on the team and then Lastly, and probably 100% most importantly, Robert Quinn has experience playing under Eagles defensive coordinator Sean Desai and has had a lot of success in doing that. I mean, in 2021, Robert Quinn had an incredible season when Sean Desai was the defensive coordinator of the Bears, where Quinn had 18 and a half sacks. Now, I'm not saying he could have near that production. He wouldn't have nearly the same role he had in 2021 with the Bears, but I do think that that's something that's very interesting and should be considered when talking about maybe the possibility of Robert Quinn. 
Kirkland coming back to the Eagles on like a one-year deal. I'm not going to say I'd be super excited about it, but I don't think I'd be mad at it either. And although I must admit, it seems pretty unlikely after drafting Nolan Smith and Derek Barnett returning from injury, and those are two guys who I definitely want to see get a lot more of an opportunity than someone like Robert Quinn. I mean, Robert Quinn would be pushed way down on the depth chart. I definitely think that there is still a little bit of value in potentially making that move, so I wouldn't rule it out completely. And I mean, at the end of the day, none of these guys would probably make any sort of big impact. They probably would have very small impacts if they were to join the team next year. They wouldn't have a big role. They wouldn't get a lot of playing time. And I, again, I do want to make it clear that bringing in any of these guys, I wouldn't do it if it was going to then limit the opportunities of some of the younger players on the team because I don't want that at all. I'm just saying that there are positive aspects to any of these potential moves and they could be something that the Eagles consider, especially after training camp starts to wrap up and we get closer to the start start of the 2023 season. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Should the Eagles go out and sign any one of these ring chasers to a one-year deal to help the team try to win a Super Bowl next season? And if you want to see other videos like this in the future, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you want to watch another Eagles video like this, you can go check out this one right here. Now, with all that being said, it's pretty much all I got for this one, guys. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.